This is a Tremec T56 out of an 0304 Mustang Cobra. And uh, this is my second build. I've been doing uh, T5s for, you know, out of the Fox body Mustangs for about a decade or so. <laughs> Quite the uh, collection of cores. Anyhow, um, I'm going to attempt to at least show the disassembly part of this, maybe the reassembly. Depends how well I can hold my phone uh, while disassembling it. I have um, removed the plastic cup, the obvious parts, you know, then you're going to want to drive that pin out right there um, with the punch. Yeah, I got mine at uh, Wonderful Harbor Freight, you know, they're just a punch kit. That's obviously the bigger version of it, but they come with them in the kit, and uh, you just drive it out straight down from there you're gonna have 15 millimeter bolts all the way around it these are kind of tight so I'm gonna get it with a wrench I use my uh, impact to remove the bolts at least you're gonna have to remove these two it's four I believe that's a half inch bolt on that half inch socket and then there's a bunch of bolts on the inside these are all 15s all the way around and you can just want to remove those this particular unit, I gotta figure out why. Uh, has a lot of slop on the input, in and out. So I gotta figure out what's going on. But this is also the same procedure. Oh yeah, when you're uh, removing it, there's some pry marks or pry spots where you can put your uh, pry bar, and you can see underneath there. There's one pry bar spot. There's another one right up around here anyway you can shove your pry bar in between the case and the point and just just pull it apart so need, no need a hammer on it when you pull it apart this is what it's going to look like this is a uh, 26 spline input this is aftermarket they came with the uh, 10 splines okay i've already pulled the synchronizer out that would uh normally go right there and um, these are bearing races, shims underneath them. And uh, this is a common point of failure, is this actual throw bearing retainer. So you're going to want to, when you have it apart, press, those, press that out and uh, buy a brand new one and press it in. They look like this when they're removed. So, yes, this one's bent. Uh, but... Uh, this is an old one from a previous build. So that's uh, the first step in removal and disassembly. Um, that you want to leave on um, for rebuilding because what we're going to do is leave it on. And then I busted a hole through my table, which was a lot of fun. And the input goes down and you're going to stand the transmission up on end. So, um, if you're just swapping the retainer, then you pull this unit apart, swap your retainer, swap your input, uh, and then put it back together. Otherwise, you can pull all the bolts out, leave this attached, and then flip it upright on the whole interior bench. And uh, start disassembling the top half, which I'll show next. Okay, making sure your trans is in neutral, go ahead and drive the punch out. Punch the pin out. Looks like that. A uh, little uh, in and out container works really well. If you want to put your parts, stay organized. I highly suggest a oil pan, drip pan like that. So you can put everything how it goes as you take it apart. Magnetic thing works fine. Even baby formula uh, containers for you guys with kits. So once you drive that pin out, I would highly suggest that you not use your favorite screwdriver. Uh, I broke my uh, tip off on mine, but uh, small pry bar, small tire iron from a car, you can pry it right here. Okay, and there's one on the other side too. Turn the trans around. Should be one. Yep, right there. Okay. And from there, you want to pull it apart. 
take that out. Remember how it goes. It's kind of only one way to can't really screw that up. Okay, let's see if it all comes off. You're going to have to excuse my bad camera angles. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here's what the inside of that looks like. Okay, bearing retainer. There's a clip holding it on. I believe that's reverse. Okay. Usually you don't really have to mess with this end of it too much. Drive in a new uh, seal and a new uh, sleeve if you need one. For this disassembly, oh my buddy's here. <laughs> For this disassembly, you're gonna probably want to use a proto tool that I just picked up. Or, uh, and I kind of made this from a Harbor Freight tool and used Home Depot rods to extend it 12 inches. And that will get a bearing that I'll show you later and a gear. Okay, this is what it looks like inside. Sixth gear. Okay, fifth gear. Uh, yeah, I'm not, like I said, this is only my second rebuild, so, um, Actually, my apologies. I believe that's reverse. I'll play with it and figure that out. And uh, I'll come back for the next step. Trans, before I was interrupted, got confused. Whatever. That's life. Down at the very bottom, fifth gear. And that's sixth gear. In reverse, you can see... The reverse is the, uh, the old bronze synchro, and uh, this is part of the counter shaft, fifth and sixth, right down here. So I'm having uh, problems removing this. There's something wrong with this trans. The first one didn't have this pin will not come out. The ball's trapped behind it. No matter what I did, I could not get it in the right location. So I tried removing the T40 Torx bits. On the shifter plate in the very back. However, that hasn't done anything either. And I've run into another problem. These are also T40. Those are your shifter bolts uh, for your shift rail. And those must come out for the case to come out. That lines up your shift rail. Uh, without that, it won't shift properly. I've uh, snapped two T40 Torx bits, a Husky and a Craftsman, on that. And I've bent a third one so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do for those bolts as for this i think i'm going to unfortunately wind up drilling that pin out i've got extras i didn't want to go that far but such is life with these transmissions when you crack it open you have to expect the worse once you uh, remove that it's not too bad for disassembly there's a clip here that you must remove i use these type And uh, this kind of presses off. Then you have another clip down here. Then you've got a little tiny clip right down there that I use the smaller set for. And then there's a larger set. There's a larger one under there also that has to come out. So I'll, uh, I'll be back after I get that pin out. Okay, a day has lapsed, and I finally have enough progress to at least update people on. As for the little shifter pin that was giving me a lot of trouble, well, it's still in there. Uh, what I was able to do, uh, here's the shifter ball that was in there, and I was actually able to take a very thin screwdriver and, uh, you know, pop the ball out. Uh, it's just holding onto the rail by a thin margin, uh, so I'm probably just going to put a drill bit in there. And just drill out that little bit of pin. I'll just use a new pin when I reassemble it. I don't know why this one gave me such a lot of hassle. Because they usually just pop right out. So the other thing that's been a complete nightmare are these shift rail pins. And these actually uh, place the uh, shift rails in the proper position. Without them, uh, your trans won't shift right. So the problem is, is it's... Uh, it's a steel pin in an aluminum case. And they tend to kind of bond to the metal. You should use... Um, anti-seize when you put them back together 
Uh, this one here, um, this one here popped out relatively okay. I'll let it soak with uh, penetrating oil. Um, this one gave me so many problems, I just couldn't believe it. And I actually finally got it out. If you look here, here's the actual carnage uh, from uh, my attempt at removing that bolt. I mean, it shattered absolutely everything uh, I could throw at it. You know, these are all T40. I probably got 40 bucks worth of T40 bits here. And then finally, um, the last one that it shattered was the uh, the smallest one, which was actually a uh, an impact one I bought, and it still completely stripped that out. So uh, this is a fifteen dollar bit. Luckily, I have my receipt. Finally, the trick that got this pin out was to take my uh, cutoff wheel and um, drill a little slot in it. Then I used said punch and a BFH and uh, I just whacked at it until finally it, it started to come loose and uh, well obviously I'm going to have to find a replacement pin for that but what a disaster I tried impact that was my last resort don't try that <laughs> yeah just trust me on that one uh, then of course I tried a uh, big breaker bar I tried small ratchets I tried bigger ratchets and I even have a smaller 3-8 drive, uh, you know, that I tried. And uh, can't believe it. But now I'm pretty much in a home stretch. And uh, the next videos will start to be on final uh, disassembly, stripping it all the way down. Stay tuned.